Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, what I wanted to go over today, and there's a reason I'm going to go over for it, is why it's not a good idea to mix and match different brands of solar generators. I have literally on every day, we have customers calling saying they have a Jackery, they have a Goal Zero, they have a Pecron, or a different combination of each, or a Blue Eddy, or a, an energy product. And they want to know how to, with one of our solar bl blankets, be able to power all of them. The point I'm making is there's no cookie cutter way on how to provide power to all of the different, or let me rephrase that, to most, some of them you can, but to most of the different solar generator manufacturers on the market. And I've got three EcoFlow products out here and I brought these out because I'm going to give an example of if I was starting from refresh, what would I do? Let's say I needed three different sizes of solar generators or portable battery packs. Um, me specifically, I would go with EcoFlow. So I'm going to go into the pros and cons. I'm going to use Pecron as an example. I'm going to use Jackery as an example because they're very well known. Pecron's new to the market, but I know a lot of people are buying them right now. We have a ton of customers that are buying them, talking to us and actually returning them and buying EcoFlow products because they learn... Um, how difficult it's going to be to charge them from one specific solar product. So first, I'm going to tell you why I like the EcoFlow products and what I find is important about this. So what I have here, and I'll start with the largest, I've got an EcoFlow Delta Max. This is just over 2,000 watt hour battery capacity. I've got the EcoFlow Delta 2, which is just, just over 1,000 watt, watt hour battery capacity. And I've got the EcoFlow River 2 Max. So this is the, one of their newest, smaller ones. Um, all of these serve a purpose. This is just under 600 watt hours, so it's the smallest out of the three. The reason, let's say I had a need for these three specific sizes, or pretty much almost all of the different eco, newer EcoFlow products they have out there, the way they're designed, when you look at solar charging, everybody thinks wattage is the most important. It, it's good to know, but voltage is actually the most important thing to know. The reason these work so well is, I'll use our 220 watt solar blanket. This with these simple cables right here, we'll charge all three of these. You don't have to mix and match solar sizes. Like I've had customers contact me and they have uh, the newer Pecron 2000. They have a Jackery 1500. They have, let's say the Energy Flex and they want to be able to provide power to all of them. The Achilles heel to a lot of them, let's use Pecron for example. So they're newer 2000 and I'll, if I make a mistake on the voltage, I'll make sure in the, in, in the video, I'll, I'll put the notes of what the exact voltage is. But I believe the minimum voltage requirement for that is 32 volts. What that means is they're trying to make you buy their solar panels. Their solar panels are not bad, but they're not portable and deployable. And it doesn't give you options for, in, I'll be politically correct, in our interesting times, let's say you have to leave your home for some reason. And you have your solar, your solar generators with you, but you have to use somebody else's solar. Um, it's going to be more difficult unless you've done your research to know what's going to work with those. So as an example, one of our 220 watt solar blankets based on the voltage and we're very high voltage and we do that purposely. It's part of the reason that we outperform most of what else is on the market. One of our 220 watt solar blankets is not going to work with that Pecron. You're going to need one of our 220s or sorry, let me rephrase that two of our 220s combined in series to double up the voltage or two of our 120s. But then if you did that, the Jackery 1500 has its own parameters on how to charge. Again, we're going to have to mix and match for that, just like the Energy Flex. And I'm just giving you examples based on some of the ones that are on the market. And again, back to these guys, EcoFlow, based on our interesting times right now, another reason they're one of my favorite ones that are on the market, the fact that all three of these will charge in approximately an hour, approximately an hour, uh, in approximately two hours from the wall, which is phenomenal that they can do that. If you have a rolling blackout situation, all of my customers or, or potential customers that are calling us and emailing us, these are the two things that are on their mind right now based on world events, based on going on with the, uh, the substations that are getting attacked in the U.S., based on just in general, the, the, the potential for, um, I hate saying it, social unrest with what's going on in our world. They want to be able to, be, uh, be able to provide power at their home for rolling blackout scenarios. So if there's a rolling blackout, and let's say you know that for this three hour window that day you have power, well then you can power all of these guys up. Uh, let's use Blue Eddy as an example, their AC200 Max, which is a really popular model. Yeah, it's gonna take four or five hours minimum for that to charge from the wall. Same with their AC200, their AC200P. Their AC200 and their AC200P, same thing. Minimum 35 volt is what they require. 
to charge from uh, to charge from solar. Again, so that means you got to double up the solar blankets. That's the reason they brought out the AC200 Max, by the way. Um, it allowed for expandability and better charging from solar because you're not pigeonholed into requiring uh, a larger quantity of solar. Um, and again, a lot of people are, are buying from us because you look at this, this is our 220. You are less than 15 pounds. You're the size of a laptop. If you got to get out of Dodge, any one of these, or if you took all three of them, you got tons of room. Like, or let me rephrase that. Actually, let me rephrase that. When it comes to space, as we all know, especially if you have a family or you go camping, actually, you don't have tons of room. You never have enough room in your vehicle, no matter what it is you're driving. This gives you the space. If you want to get out of Dodge, you can actually bring these products with you and you can provide power no matter where you're going. And you can easily do this and set yourself up. So let's say you're providing fa uh, power to uh, helping family or friends that have come with you or you're doing a camping trip or what have you. Um, but at the end of the day, if it was my choice, if I had the choice of buying, let's say if I needed more than one solar generator, I would go with EcoFlow, EcoFlow specifically. I would verify the voltage. If you guys don't know and, and you're not understanding how to do that, that's not a problem. Just give us a call. Shoot me an email. My name's Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. I can easily go over based on what your specific scenario is, because everybody's a little different on what they require. Um, you know, what, what I would recommend, and I'm going to give you real world information. I'm not here to upsell you. And let's say you only need this little guy here, the, the, the river two max. It's not my intention or my goal to upsell you to the bigger one, because what's the point that makes no sense at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you have the power that you were, that, uh, you require based on your specific, uh, situation. But, um, yeah, other than that, we've taken the time. We, we took the night off, came out here just to, uh, to enjoy the mountains. We had the full moon last night, had the fire going, which was awesome. Um, yeah, and just to relax, but any questions, let me know. My name's Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. I'll make sure my phone number and my email are, are at the back of the, are at the back of the uh, video here. And if you like our content guys, I know my stuff is, it's, it's not polished. I'm not here to, to read from a script. I just want to tell you how it is, give you the meat and potatoes of what I think is most important when it comes to charging from solar, uh, based on my experience on some of the things that I did when I was in the military and how that's transitioned over into how we run our company. And basically our goal is to provide portable, deployable power to anyone that could require it, hopefully just for a camping situation. However, we are in interesting times right now and we want to make sure that we can provide power to you for when's needed and when it's needed most. So like I said, like, and subscribe. I'll put the information on in the website there. I'll have links to some of these products as well too. Any questions, please just uh, shoot me an email Let me and, and I'd be happy to answer. We are quite busy with orders right now. I'll just mention that real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, my goal is always to respond with, within 24 hours. So if I don't respond right away, we will respond. It's just uh, we're quite busy filling orders. Any of our European customers, I'll just mention this real quick. We can ship to you our solar blankets and our, any, of our, any of the products that we manufacture, not the solar generators because we're not allowed to ship uh, across the ocean. Um, if you are wanting something, our website is not currently set up to, to accept the orders and to actually prepare and... Um, create like basically a shipping cost for you just email us let us know what you're wanting or if you don't know let us know what you want to power or what you want to charge and what your complete uh address is you'll be emailing me directly so i'm not going to pass on that information on to anybody and then i'll be able to provide you with a quote on the what's what's going to be required the the shipping cost and everything that's needed all the way down to like i'll use these eco flows this eco flow as an example so this normally what we would do is we would have one of our extension cables right here, which is 16 and a half feet. Uh, we would have our MC4 cable here. These two connect. And by the way, one of the, I'll mention this real quick, how we've designed everything. And I've used this term before, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. So everything, we use these specific connectors. There's no way to, you, you can't connect them wrong. You cannot reverse polarity on them. You can step on them. You can get water in them. You can get dirt in them. I used these when I was in the military. These are widely used in Europe and in Africa and Australia. These are Anderson SB connectors. Um, so these easily connect all of our solar blankets. Let me just lift that up there. We have the exact same connector, which is right here, which makes it quite easy. And then, for this specific package, you would have an MC4 cable as well, too. 
because what EcoFlow uses, they have their XT60i cable, which is right here, and there's their MC4. And there's only one male, there's only one female connector, and everything is color-coded, so it's quite easy. You can see red on red, black on black, and there's only one male, one female in, so it makes it really easy. So again, if you were to mix and match solar generators, like I was saying earlier, um, and I'll use Pecron as an example, they have different sizes of their solar generators. Some of them actually have different physical solar charging cables, which to me doesn't make sense that they're doing that. It's just something they've chosen to do. Uh, that means you'd have to bring more cables with you. You'd have to know what connects to where and how to connect things in series or parallel if you're using multiple, multiple products. But again, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Um, any questions, reach out to me and I'd be happy to answer any of those questions for you. We do have stock um, in Canada, ready to ship of our solar blankets. We normally ship within three business days. Any of the solar generators, we have stock in, for our American customers in, in the Texas and California warehouse. In Canada, we have a warehouse in Vancouver. We have a warehouse in Ontario, ready to ship. Um, other than that, enjoy your day, guys, and happy 2023. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's hope it's less interesting than 2022. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye then.